Imagine if there was a way to mass produce tiny robots no bigger than a cell, quickly, easily, and accurately, with little to no external stimulus. Well, a team of engineers at MIT have developed a novel method where they can do just that. Using the naturally occurring fracturing process of atomically thin, brittle materials such as graphene, the researchers are able to design and successfully fabricate small synthetic cells called syn cells. It's called syn cells. It's called syn cells for short. That could eventually be used to monitor conditions inside an oil or gas pipeline, or search out disease while floating through the bloodstream. Or search out disease while floating through the bloodstream. Or search out disease while floating through the bloodstream. The novel process called auto-perforation allows for engineers to control the natural fracture lines in a material, directing the lines so that they produce exactly what the engineer desires. In this case, the end result are minuscule pockets of predictable size and shape, containing electrical circuits and materials that can collect, record, and output data. Containing electrical circuits and materials that can collect, record, and output data. Containing electrical circuits and materials that can collect, record, and output data. To build these syn cells, first a layer of graphene is laid down on a surface. Then, tiny dots of a polymer material containing the electronics for the devices are deposited by a microarray printer. Then, a second layer of graphene is laid on top. When the top layer of graphene is placed over the array of polymer dots, the places where the graphene drapes over the edges of the dots form lines of high strain in the material. You can think of a tablecloth draped over a circular table. The highest levels of strain develop toward the table edges, where the cloth hangs down. That is essentially what is happening in this process, but the strain is controlled. So similar to the tablecloth, the fractures in the graphene are concentrated right along the boundaries of the structure and will completely fracture around the periphery. The result? A round piece of graphene that looks as if it's been cleanly cut out by a microscopic hole punch. Apart from the syn cell's potential uses for industrial or biomedical monitoring, or biomedical monitoring, or biomedical monitoring, the researchers say that the way the tiny devices are made is itself an innovation with great potential. This general procedure of using controlled fracture as a production method could potentially be used with any 2D material, essentially opening up a whole new toolkit for micro and nano fabrication.